How do you even start this? <laughs> First of all, my hair has gotten so long. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mini Reads where I talk about books and things. And I know it's been months and honestly I had filmed a video just going over like what happened and why I stopped filming. And I totally scrapped that bitch because you know what? I don't want to think about that stuff and I don't think it's relevant to the channel. And again, I don't want to hash it over. So basically, <laughs> you get no explanation. I, I had planned like my first take would be like I'm back because you need more science fiction in your life and for reals you do you do like um um I feel like there is a lack of soft sci-fi here that I cannot contend with I, I just need to get back to it and the reality is I'm back because I'm finally reading again I haven't I hadn't read a book in like six months so <laughs> but today, um, I'm starting my favorite kind of video, which is a video vlog. It's Friday. Um, so I'm starting the weekend reading vlog. This is my last Friday before I go back to work. And, um, because I've been off for a few, uh, for a few weeks actually. And I decided that I'm finally going to finish some books. I actually did finish a book on vacation, but it was really bad. So we're not going to talk about that. But I have two books for this weekend. I have one that I'm really looking forward to and one that just kind of like, I was thinking about reading it and then I was like, no, I have to read that for the weekend vlog. So I'm gonna start this one. And it just turns out that it was amazing. And um, I'm gonna read it this weekend too. Without further ado, here are the books that I'm gonna be reading this weekend. One of them I already ordered online um, and it hasn't come today. I'm kind of sad because I wanted to hold it up. I wanted to hold up a book and be a proper booktuber. So I started reading just to like pass the time before I started um, the book that I really wanted to read. I started reading How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu and I am in love. This is not going to be a story for everyone because it does deal with illnesses. <laughs> it does deal with a pandemic. Um, these researchers, um, basically ice caps are melting and they find this little girl encased in ice and she has these really weird features and uh, basically virus invades the world, kills children, it's really sad. But I really like the way Nagatsu doesn't make this super dramatic. I like how it's like softly written. There's something about Asian authors that gives me this sense of comfort when it comes to these kinds of stories. It, it brought back memories of the Memory Police and, and Severance by Ling Ma and there's another one but I can't remember which one. Oh, um, Never Let Me Go. There's this sense of comfort. I don't know. It's very strange and I really enjoy it. So far, we're following through the generations of what this virus does to humanity and eventually, you know, how we learn to live with it. And I've read the first two chapters absolutely in love with it. And um, yeah, I have nothing but praises to sing about this book. So that's the first one that I want to finish because I'm already kind of 20% in and it's a really fast read. So I think I can finish it and yeah, <laughs> what else do you want from me? Um, the second book that I'm reading, I also picked up on a whim because I've been so like not into reading that I didn't want to pick anything that didn't like tickle my fancy that didn't make me want to, you know, like didn't get me excited. And the second book um, I'm reading is called Mickey Seven by Edward Ashton and this so far is so fucking good. It's so good. It's about this guy who basically takes this job on I think the moon or somewhere, outer space. And he is an expendable. Basically every time he dies he just gets, re uh, not reincarnated, he gets Oh, I don't know, he goes into this process where he downloads his memories and then he gets into a new body and basically starts over and starts over the investigation. But something happens and it's a mystery and it's in space and I just, I, and it, the, the narration for this book, because I'm reading obviously these in audiobook, is so good. I am so like 
into it. I feel like I'm watching a TV show and it's amazing. So those are the two books that I'm reading. Now, <laughs> I, I do expect to finish both of these books. Pray for me. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I expect to finish them because my house in, is in such a state of disarray. Like, let me show you. Let me show you. Let's, 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 you see this beautiful, like, my bed is made and this is all, no, that's all a fucking lie. I am a big fat liar. Let me show you what it really looks like in my room. Hang on. Okay, so here's my husband's side, which isn't that bad. This has got his clothes because he doesn't know that clothes go in the bin. And this is my side. We still haven't unpacked from our trip and I am not even going to show you my kitchen because I am ashamed. I am deeply ashamed. So while I'm cleaning, I'm going to be listening to the audiobooks. That's what I love about audiobooks. You can clean and read at the same time. So yeah, uh, welcome back to me. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for those of you that stuck around and let's get reading, shall we? just realized I'm pretty sure you can hear the construction going on but we've made significant progress I've got all my clothes here to just put in the closet but I just wanted to stop and say that chapter three of how long we can go in the dark is heartbreaking and amazing and I just I am loving this book so much I haven't been so invested in in a book in such a long time and there was just something about the writing and um, just a trigger warning. There is um, like animal, not cruelty just yet, but definitely animal experimentation. And uh, it is so heart wrenching and I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm, I'm just loving this. I'm so happy that I'm loving it. I, I, I think that I have a soft spot for pandemic books. I know a lot of people stay away from them because of, you know, what happened in the world or what is still happening in the world. But I really enjoy them. I have a thing for viruses. I really like reading about viruses. But yeah, um, I just wanted to say that this is so good. It's so good. Um, every chapter is like a new new storyline so it's almost like short stories but they're all interconnected so it's really good and if you get the audiobook every storyline is read by a different um person and um like if somebody has a japanese accent they get someone with a japanese accent if somebody has like an american accent they get someone with an american accent and i thought that was really well done so um it's on script at least in spain so you don't have to spend your credits on it does this count as sci-fi? I always wonder if pandemic things, I think it totally does because there is science fiction aspects to it but again it's the soft science fiction that I like so I'm really enjoying it so far and it helped me clean, I'm sorry I'm sniffly it's just that I'm allergic to dust and cat hair and because of all the stuff on the floor there is cat hair everywhere but I'm really happy I'm not like beating myself up for my room getting messy had a tough couple of days went on vacation it happens um but yeah mostly it's just cleaned up now and i'm actually gonna make a to-do list because i was getting a little bit overwhelmed with like i have to do this i have to do that i have to do this so i'm just gonna make the to-do list and i'm gonna continue listening to my audiobook so um i'm not sure if i'm gonna make this a vlog like i usually make it where i just sit down and talk to you and let you know about the book uh, or if I'm gonna add in some b-roll, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, feels new to be in front of the camera, but it feels so good. So let's keep going. I officially need a break. I cleaned, but then I realized that my nightstand was a complete disaster. So I was like, oh, let's just clean that out. Now look at what happened. I have stuff to go in the bathroom. I still have to put this stuff away. I have this empty thing. I have a book, my, my husband's things. My cat, she's there. Uh, my to-do list, which, you know, got a little bit derailed. I have a bunch of stuff on top of the thing that is not that are not supposed to be there. But look at this. It's all clean and tidy. I love it. But, you know, we don't love this. I need a break. 
so I think I'm just gonna lay in bed and read my book and get through this chapter that is like <laughs> oh, I know it's not gonna be good because these things are never good you know so oh, let's do it let's do it let's let's get through it let's get through it so as I was reading and trying not to cry because I don't want to cry. I got a package. Now, you guys know my fans on fast fashion. I don't really buy a lot of fast fashion. Um, but that's a whole thing. It's like the Amazon thing. How privileged are you not to be able to buy from Amazon? But I really wanted... Um, I don't know why I wanted new sweaters. I have new sweaters. But I saw this one on Shein. And I got it. It's so cool. It's so nice. Um, the material obviously is not the best, but yeah, I got this one. And um, Spaniards don't really celebrate Halloween, but I do because I'm not a Spaniard. <laughs> and I got this Halloween sweater to wear for when it's Halloween, and I'm very excited about it. And I thought I'd show you my little haul. Uh, my, my husband got a polo because we needed something to get free shipping, so that's that. And yeah, I don't recommend you buy from Shein. It's not really the best. But if you're strapped for cash like I am at the moment, and uh, you know, you want to get yourself a little something, or you know, as long as you're not getting $300 or whatever clothing out of Shein, then you know, two little sweaters that I'm gonna wear for a long time just seem to be worth it to me don't come at me <laughs> please don't come at me I do not have the mental strength to to go there good morning <laughs> so I didn't update you last night because I ended up having kind of a migraine attack and it was really bad and everything would suck that's kind of why I look puffy and stuff today but I did finish how long can we go in the dark and oh boy I love this book it's um it reads like short stories that are interconnected with each other like you have to be really careful not really careful it's kind of in your face but Basically, you have to like find the connections like where are we connected to This story and this story and this story and this story and they're all interconnected and The ending wow, I was in, in the beginning. I was like, I'm not liking this ending and then I was like Gosh, this is amazing and I want to reread the book just so that I can get more of a taste of the ending I absolutely love it. I gave it 4.5 stars just because for a while there it got really depressing. Like I was reading and I was like, geez, is this what like it's gone to? Like is this what we're going to? Is this it? <laughs> you know? It got really depressing. But then it picks up again and it's hopeful and, and it's wonderful. I recommend you read this book. Um it's 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 got a little bit of everything. It's got your pandemic feels it's got your futuristic medicine feel a speculative fiction feel it does have some space travel and aliens it's amazing i loved it i i, I loved it like i gave it a 4.5 because of the depressing bits like there were a few moments like i think the last three stories before the last two or the last one sorry the last one that i was just like gosh like this is some depressing shit you know <laughs> so um but i might bump it up to a five we'll see we'll see how i feel about it later but today um i'm getting ready to go out for breakfast uh i might take you along with me to my favorite uh breakfast spot i have so much so many so is it so many allergies or so much allergies i don't know but Today, I don't know why I'm looking for it on my phone. Oh, to see the author, yes. So today, uh, my goal is, I don't know if I'm going to finish it today because, you know, um, with audiobooks, the problem is with my headaches. I have headphones in and it like, you know, having something in your ear the whole time, it gives you headaches or at least it gives me headaches. But I'm reading uh, Mickey Six, um, not Mickey Six, Mickey Seven by Edward Ashton and I'm really so far I'm actually 
on chapter three and I'm really enjoying it like I said this is about a guy who is like um, I don't know he's a scientist of some kind but he is somebody that that dies and revives and and but then there's a mystery going on so I'm really excited for that book and yeah I'm gonna go take my meds <laughs> uh, blow my nose and go have breakfast and then I'll get to reading and cleaning because I'm not done cleaning the house so that's the plan to the mall and I did get a book in the mail so I'm gonna show you what I got just for fun I got basically my favorite thing to get in the world which is sweaters I don't need any more sweaters I am more than happy with the sweaters that I have but you know I saw two of them and I was like you know what cozy season is coming so let's see first one I got I got this one 50% off it's just basically it's they're cardigans not sweaters but they're really chunky and they're knit and they're hang on I'm gonna try to show this I am not a fashion person on YouTube I, I, I read books which by the way I haven't done any of that today which I will do after I film this clip <laughs> I, I, it's funny because for you it's been like no time but it was our screen so I got this one um, it's a really chunky knit it's really pretty it's 50% off it's this really nice oat color which I like old color stuff. Yeah. Uh, here's the book. I'll show you that last. Also, I've been looking for a new cup. And I want, like, a special cup. Something that I really enjoy. And I saw this one at Starbucks. Now, I'm not one for, like, Starbucks things. But this one was just this pretty pattern. Let's see. Let's see. It's flowers. And it just says Starbucks right here in the corner. So, it, you know. And I like it because it's spring, but it also has like yellows and um, oranges and then it has white flowers with blue. So I think it can go for any season and I think this is going to be my new special cup. So that's nice. Uh, what else? Oh, I got this sweater which was way overpriced, but again, I love cozy things. And it's like this like ugly like grandma sweater. I don't know, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's got, it's got this really pretty color gradient. I don't wear a lot of colorful clothes and it's nice and soft and it's kind of already disheveled. So when my cats get on it and the cat hair gets on it and when it pills, it's going to look really nice anyway. So I got that. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much all I got. And then I got not from the bookstore because we tried filming in the bookstore but I made the m big mistake of asking if I could film in the bookstore and they were like no you need permission and I was like whatever I won't film but um I didn't buy anything I almost bought Hyperion because it was a really good price but then I found it better online so you know and um I could only get like either Hyperion or one of the ugly sweaters and I decided to get the ugly sweaters um but I did order this a while ago and it finally arrived and it's the book that I'm reading right now which is Mickey 7 by um, Edward Ashton and this is what I'm going to be reading for this portion of the vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Should have seen me before I put all this makeup on. It's not a lot of makeup but whatever. <laughs> the point is I finished Mickey 7 by Edward Ashton and you know what? This is a question of the right book at the right time. Right now, I'm feeling really anxious. I'm not having a great time. And uh, this book was everything I wanted. It was funny. It was exciting. It was, I don't know, it was great. Like, I gave it a 4.5 simply because um, there is another character in here which 
it's it's supposed to create tension but you never get that tension because you never get to fall in love with that character so you kind of know where the story is going you're like yeah it's going this way and also i don't know i mean it was it's a short story like not short it's not a short story it's a short book and i love that i love when sci-fi doesn't dwindle too much. I know a lot of people really love sci-fi for the world building. I'm not one of those people. I'm one of those people where you give them, you pepper in some world building and that's it. So that's, I, I just, there was so much that I loved about this book and my camera is flashing at me. So let me change my battery and I will be right back and I'll talk more about Mickey 7. Anyway, so <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, um, it was, I needed this book right now because I'm really anxious about going back to work. I don't know. I get really anxious about work and it was funny the book was funny it, it really did you know there's a blurb on the back that says Andy Weir watch out I don't think that Andy Weir has anything to worry about but um, it does read a little bit like an Andy Weir book because there is some scientific jargon thrown in there but it's not as much as with Andy Weir books and I like the comical aspects of the character I don't know I just overall really really enjoyed this book I mean I think I would have given it um, a five if we had gotten to know that other character that I don't want to mention because I don't want to spoil it for you better. That's it. But it's really solid. I love it. I love the cover. I'm so glad I got this cover because this is now sold out and it only has the new cover which I'll pop right up here. And it's the cover that says that it's a, a Netflix t um, movie. Uh, it's gonna That it is going to be a Netflix movie. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I got this cover because it's so good. It's got like six Mickeys and here's number seven. It's so good. I highly recommend it. And well, I guess that's pretty much it. I thought about throwing in a, another book in here, but you know what? I think that after not reading for six months, uh, two books in three days is pretty good. Yeah, I was thinking like, oh, but one of them is only 300 pages. You know what? Fuck that shit. Remember? There, this is not a competition. This is just me coming back. And um, I, I also got kind of discouraged because when I looked up the reviews for this book, I saw that uh, people that I love have already read the books that I've been reading. But who the fuck cares? Maybe you haven't read this, these books and these are new to you. Or maybe I have different thoughts or I don't know. Whatever. You know, the point is, um, it's really nice to be back. Um, I, I got... Okay, so the video here, like, the vlog portion of this video is over. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, if you don't want to hear me like talk for a few minutes about um, what it's like to be back on booktube after you've been gone for, I don't know, it's, it's, has it been like, I think it's been like six to eight months. But um, yeah, if, that, if you were just here for the vlog, that's it. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, if you want to know a little bit. Um, one of the reasons I left um, was because I was feeling like I'm not reading enough science fiction that is cool enough or that is different enough and stuff like that. And sometimes, here's my cat, I don't want to read science fiction. Like the next book, I no, 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 the next books I'm picking up all are sci-fi. But, you know, uh, uh, that was just because I that's what I mostly like to read. But... I felt like if I wasn't reading a sci-fi book and if my t my TBRs or my wrap-ups weren't full of sci-fi then I wasn't doing a good job and I started reading a bunch of sci-fi that wasn't to my liking that was to the liking of a lot of other people and I just got burnt out and you know then other stuff happened so um, yes I do believe that I my my channel is going to primarily focus on science fiction but I that's what I like to read Especially soft sci-fi. Um, do I consider this hard sci-fi? I don't know. For me, soft sci-fi is when I don't have it, when when there's not enough like like too much world building. That's like soft sci-fi to me. I don't know what it is to anyone else, but but I also read a lot of horror and I like to read mem not memoirs. I like to read nonfiction. So I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm just gonna do this for fun. I, I started not doing this for fun. I started doing this for, I don't know, prove something or some shit. But you know what? I read two books. I like them. And they so happen to be sci-fi. And I'm really happy. I am. I, this is the happiest that I've been in a really long time. And I think reading really does 
bring out the best in me and I think that it helps me center myself and talking to the camera talking out my feelings you know I'm not a very social person I don't have a lot of friends so it's really nice to be able to socialize in this way because I know someone out there is watching even if it's just Rachel and Lena hi <laughs> and Jesse even if it's just those three people I know someone is gonna watch this and maybe they don't have anything to say or anything but it's my way of expressing my thoughts and feelings and um yeah thank you for that and I hope you enjoy me being back because I definitely am enjoying it so far I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna make blah 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 videos a week I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna read 20 books a month I'm not no I'm just gonna enjoy the ride for now just gonna enjoy feeling better and doing better I start my full-time job um, tomorrow which is what I'm worried about so um, I'm gonna try to get reading in every day like I used to uh, but yeah thanks for watching seriously thank you anybody that watches this video just thank you thank you so much and um, it's good to be back so yeah I guess that's it <laughs> I don't have anything else to say so I guess what's left to say is that I'll see you in another galaxy far far away thanks for watching Bye-bye.